How to market your upcoming fundraiser in five steps. Fundraisers keep your nonprofit running and require meticulous planning and forethought to ensure they find success. However, no matter how well designed and optimized the fundraiser itself is, you'll only get results if you're able to get the word out effectively. While there is a plethora of useful fundraising advice for finding the perfect idea and tools to help run your event, nonprofits are often left in the dark regarding how to market their fundraiser. You may be able to easily identify common communication channels, but how to use them to create a full-fledged marketing campaign is a more challenging task. Our team of professionals at Giving Mail has helped nonprofits craft strategic fundraising appeals for over 70 years, meaning we've seen and overcome nearly every hurdle nonprofit marketing has to offer. Marketing and outreach have evolved over the years and our tactics have adapted to find new processes for overcoming each challenge. To help launch your next fundraising campaign, here are five steps every nonprofit should take when marketing their fundraisers. One, assemble a team. As mentioned, marketing teams vary in size and are often one of the first things to be cut for small nonprofits. Assembling a team also requires knowledge you might not have of how effective marketing campaigns are run, especially if your nonprofit has limited resources for finding the right candidates. However, instead of asking who you need on your marketing team, Determine what responsibilities you need to complete and how many people it will take to meet those commitments. To help your nonprofit then, put a name to your list of responsibilities. Here are a few common marketing team members and the tasks they usually complete. Project Manager. Project managers oversee your marketing team by making schedules to keep everyone on track, coordinating launches of outreach material, and providing direction for the entire team. Content creators. Writers and graphic designers create your marketing materials. While your nonprofit's leadership likely has great ideas about your mission, they are not necessarily writers or artists. Outreach experts. Regular outreach and marketing through social media, email, and direct mail is a full-time job. Your outreach team is responsible for taking the materials created by your content team and adapting them for each platform. By doing so, they spread the word about your fundraiser and interact with supporters who want to connect with your nonprofit. Analysts. Throughout your entire marketing campaign, someone should be assessing the data coming in. Give your analysts access to your donor database or CRM software and mailing services to let them determine the success of each social media post, email blast, and direct mail campaign. Craft your message. Your fundraiser supports a good cause, but your message needs to do more than just relay your nonprofit's mission. For example, your marketing team may want to try and attract a corporate sponsor for your fundraiser. The benefits your organization receives from corporate partnerships are clear. But now you need to consider why your corporate sponsor would want to work with your nonprofit. To do so, answer the following questions. Who is your audience? In this case, your audience is a corporate sponsor. And you wouldn't address them the same way you would your supporters on social media. Why would they support you? Craft your message to answer this question for your sponsors. Use the research you conducted on your sponsors to explain why their support is mutually beneficial. How can you reach them? This can take a bit of research, especially for corporations where you don't already have a point of contact. Some may have formal applications for corporate sponsorships, while others, such as small businesses, might respond better to cold outreach through a phone call, email, or mailed invitation. Your message should be based on your audience, but remember to also maintain consistent brand identity and voice across all marketing materials. Three, set marketing goals. 
Begin your marketing campaign with a set purpose in mind. Obviously, your goal is to attract support to your fundraiser. But how much support and from who? Many nonprofit marketing guides like this one suggest making data-driven decisions. However, you'll need to know what data is useful to collect and examine before making decisions based on it. A few helpful metrics for fundraisers to measure are supporter retention, response rates, average donation amount. Of course, your data only matters if you do something with it. Use one of these or any other pertinent metrics to create a measurable, attainable goal for your campaign. Four, spread the word. Online fundraisers and nonprofit digital campaigns have risen in popularity due to their relatively low startup costs. In addition to social media and email, consider using the following methods to reach supporters. Direct mail, text, your website. A comprehensive outreach campaign through one channel is a big job for one person. And diversifying your marketing can cause your team to prioritize quantity over quality. To combat this, consider reaching out for help from a web consultant, text to donate platform provider, or even a direct mail service provider. Five, follow up after the fundraiser. Your marketing campaign isn't finished until you've completed your follow up. As mentioned, effective follow up can improve key metrics such as supporter retention between fundraisers while helping to build long term relationships. You can also improve donor relationships by thanking different supporters in different ways. Online resources like fundraising letters, donor thank you letter templates can give your marketing team a starting point. If you find yourself in need of extra help, don't be afraid to consult marketing and outreach services for everything from setting initial goals to designing effective direct mail campaigns.